Hello everyone, this is Frank and I am going to give you some tutorials on Red Power 2 Microblox. I've gotten quite a bit of requests about this. People who want to work with the Microblox but are a bit, you know, they think they're a bit buggy, a bit hard to work with, they don't really know what to do. Uh, so yeah, people want some help and I am happy, happy to oblige because I love building with the microbox and I don't find them buggy at all. I did however at first because I didn't really know how to use them. Now however I find them to be a dream. Now in this uh, little video we are going to build one of the copper lamp posts that I built for for the town on the mechanical monkey server because I think that's a good way to start because we're just going to be working in one single kind of material uh, the copper blocks, do remember that there are two kinds of copper blocks in Feed the Beast and it's the lighter one that you can sp uh, splice up into smaller parts. Now these things might seem a bit confusing to you, like how are you going to keep track of all of these different versions here? At the start, yes, super confusing and you will accidentally like pick uh, shapes like these and think that they are like half slabs and then notice when you're building that they're not. You will become used to this, do not worry. Um, after a while it will be very natural. And then also, of course, there is uh, there is an important difference with these kinds of blocks and the posts, the pillars and the columns. Now these, the posts, the pillars and the columns, they are completely different from uh, the other splice up blocks. I'm going to show you how the splice up blocks face like these very much like le regular minecraft blocks do especially these ones which you know imagine building small statues with these you can produce them like in the fourth of a size of uh, a statue and otherwise pretty cool pretty cool i will be doing loads of that in in the town for sure um however these posts they place in the middle you can do loads of funny shapes with these as well. Uh, like let's say let's place a block there real quick, and let's take a pillar, and then you can kind of make cross cross shapes. So you can make like really good bars and stuff with these. But yeah, they do in the beginning. They do seem weird and buggy. They actually aren't, and you will become used to this in a while. So let's build a fancy lamppost now in copper. This is first, you know, this is completely, completely regular block. Mm, let's go up like this, I feel. Uh, yeah. No, this is too big. Um, let's go up like, uh, let's do it like that instead. Let's place these copper half slabs all around. Like this. And then, the copper block slab strips. These are a half of the slabs. Like this, very good. Now let's take <laughs> maybe a regular block and one of the fatties, a column, then one of these. You can even place one of the thin ones, but I don't think it works for this design. It could, it could, but I think it looks a bit thin. Okay, like that, very good. Let's go for the fat one again. We like the fatty ones. Oh, friends. Fat and wonderful. Let's go for a whole block. And then let's go for another whole block here. Um, let's place some slabs around here. Do, do, do. Uh -huh. And uh, what do we want next? I think we want to place one of these actually and then some of these again these are the whole blocks again and then we have the slab strips half of a half slab like this and then let's place let's go for slabs here again very good uh-huh might change this around. I can't say that I actually remember exactly how I built the lamppost, but I'm just going for what I think feels good right now and what I think looks good. And then the half-half slabs again. Half-half slabs, half-half and half and half. 
that of a four and a. Okay, good. So we've got a simple shape here up, but we want to decorate this a bit, and we are going to decorate this with I think. Mm, yes, do it with these ones. Let's do it with these ones. The thinner strips, not the thinnest ones, mind you. And then I think I want some fatter strips like that. Yes, that looks fine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. These are actually the half half stamps, by the way. Um, I think I might want some things here as well. Yes, yes. Might not. I might remove these thin ones here, actually, because now I want to work with these, now th these are tiny, very tiny, still not the tiniest ones though. Oh yeah, let's just place them there, that, that looks nice. That does look very nice. Okay, now, hmm. Yeah, that looks okay. Let's do some things like down here as well. Uh -huh. Now, if it's not going this fast for you when you build with microblocks, it's just because you haven't worked with them for a while and you will become accustomed to it quite easily. Just you know, sit down in creative mode, test around, learn how they're placed, because yes, when you start out with them, they do feel buggy and you're like, why are they so buggy? And you're going crazy at them. But in a while, it will become, it will become quite smooth. Quite smooth indeed. Okay. You know, let's uh, let's get our lamps in place. Like, okay, I I choose the white ones because I think they are beautiful. Don't try to build like uh, it's actually getting night here, so let's do this. Very good, thank you. Um, and I like these ones quite a lot. Uh, let's go over to the thinner strips now. I believe. Now this is a place where you will find that it gets a bit fiddly because you have to do it like this because you have to have a supporting block otherwise you can't really place it in the corner but now I am confused because I really think I should be able to place that there because I do have a supporting block there now I actually am confused however let's just <laughs> continue on um, I guess it got in the way of it. See, I can struggle too. There we go, that's good. Uh, there we go. Very good, finally. Okay, very good. Ah, there we go. Yeah, this is a bit fiddly. I might cut out the parts when I do the other other of these lamps as soon as I am finished with the first one here because you don't you, you don't really want, want to watch me place all of these right do you no you don't uh something is wrong here oh yeah place that one wrong good mm-hmm mm-hmm Right, and then, do we want to go for these ones? Yeah, that looks cool, a bit of a bigger, bigger ones sticking out. <laughs> Some of you guys have been saying more music in my videos. Mm, don't know if I want that, but you know, I could always sing a bit if you want. I have a lovely singing voice. No, I don't. Okay, guys, I am going to finish the rest of these lamps. I might speed up that part. We'll see. <laughs>
Okay, guys, we are finished with these slump posts here. It looks fancy and, you know, didn't take very long to do. Now I got some comments saying like, oh my god, this, this things like these must be such a pain to build several of. Um, wow, well, one of my blocks has disappeared. Okay, so this actually is a bit of a bug that sometimes when you place a micro block, um, one that you place close to it sometimes disappears. Uh, I don't know why it is like that. I've only experienced that in creative mode though, not in survival, so it feels pretty okay. Um, yeah, this is all done and it wasn't very complicated, now was it? Uh, the only thing that you need to learn is how these blocks really work and then you can make, I mean, you can make like lampers to look even more awesome than these. I mean, this is actually a fairly simple one. So just imagine what you can do. And uh, if you want to use this design, you know, go ahead as much as you want. It's just fun. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. I hope this helped you out and I will be happy to make more of these short little microblocks episodes if you want. Okay, thank you for watching again. Bye.